Welcome to worship here at University United Methodist Church in Austin. My name is Teresa Wellborn and I'm the senior pastor here at the church. We believe at University UMC that whoever you are and wherever you are on your faith journey, you are welcome here. Thanks for being in worship with us this Christmas Eve. I want you to know that here at University UMC, we have an amazing staff with exciting ministries taking place all throughout the year. I wanna introduce them to you at this time. I'm Lisa Blaylock, one of the associate pastors at University United Methodist Church. Merry Christmas. Hi, my name is Heather Green and I am the associate pastor for children and families here at UUMC. If I haven't had an opportunity to meet you or your kiddos yet, please email me at pastorheather at uumc.org so we can connect and I can share all the wonderful things that we're doing here at UUMC for our children's ministry. Hi, my name is Megan Otto. I'm the Director of Campus Ministry, Young Adult Ministry, and Senior Ministries here at University United Methodist Church. We had a great semester with the college students from the University of Texas, and we are looking forward to beginning again in January for a whole new semester. Well done, Longhorns. You deserved a good break. Hi, my name is Sydney Harkrider, and I am the Director of Youth Ministries here at University UMC. And if you have a kiddo in sixth grade all the way to 12th grade, just let me know. Shoot me an email at sydney at uumc.org. We have a ton of stuff for the new year, and I'm so excited to get started. Hi, I'm Alicia Villarreal. I'm the Interim Director of Music here at University United Methodist Church. If you're interested in singing and we haven't had the opportunity to chat, please email me at alicia at uumc.org. It's A-L-I-C-I-A, -I -I um, and we would love to have you be a part of our music ministry. Hi, I'm Cindy Reeves. I'm the Director of Finance and Operations and also the Wedding Coordinator. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Chad Jones. And I'm Renee Marino. And we're your communications team here at UUMC in Austin, Texas. So if you want to find out about all the great stuff coming up here at UUMC, you can visit our website at uumc.org and find the subscribe button to subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Or you can also email us. My email is renee at uumc.org or chad at uumc.org. Thanks, y'all. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Now, friends, let's join in worship together. Join me in the call to worship. We gather in our homes this evening to celebrate the newborn light. God meets us wherever we are so we can worship and adore the Christ child. With Mary, we will ponder these things in our hearts. With Joseph, we will give thanks to the Lord for God's steadfast love. Lift up your hearts in thanksgiving for a child, the child, has been born. Our wait is finished. Let us worship the newborn King. Friends, join me in singing, O Come All Ye Faithful.
joy, peace, and love. Four candles, four promises continually offered to us by God, and all of them manifest in the one we light tonight, the Christ candle. In Christ, we find the hope of transformation, the peace that follows justice, the joy of fulfillment in community, and the love that encompasses us all in our diversity, empowering us to make our own unique contributions in this world. We rejoice in God's unique presence in the life of Jesus of Nazareth, born of Mary, growing through childhood into an adult ministry, and all of this life manifesting peace, love and justice of God in his voice undimmed by the centuries. His call and his promise is clear to us today as if we were his disciples so long ago. Be born in us this night, in our hearts, our minds, our lives. May the light of your life be kindled in us and lead us to the shining truth of God with us, God for us, God in us. Amen. Hello, dear ones, Pastor Heather here. And let me first start by saying Merry Christmas. If you have little ones who are worshiping with you at home today, now is the time to call them back into the space for children's time. I want to take a moment and share about this special day we celebrate year after year. It's Christmas, but it's also Jesus's birthday we celebrate the birth of a baby born into this world to bring love and joy and peace. And as I was thinking about Jesus's birthday this week, I thought when we think about this, we always think about Jesus as a baby. But I wonder what it would be like to think about Jesus as a toddler celebrating his birthday. Would he have a Mickey Mouse party? I wonder what it would be like to think about Jesus as a little boy. Would he have a Spider-Man or a Star Wars birthday? I wonder what it would be like to think about celebrating Jesus's birthday when he was a teenager. Would it be a Minecraft birthday or just to go hang out with his friends at the arcade? Whatever we imagine, or dream up about how Jesus would celebrate his birthday if he was living today as a toddler or a boy or a teenager, I hope that that makes Jesus relatable to you. He was just a boy. He was just a baby, born into this world like you and like me, just an ordinary kid doing extraordinary things. And that gives me hope to know that I or you can also go and do extraordinary things. We can help those who need help. We can love those who may not have a whole lot of people to love them. And we can be a light and an encouragement to all. So as we celebrate this Jesus's birthday, I hope you'll take some time to think about what Jesus was like as he grew up and not just Jesus as a baby. 
and how he would celebrate his birthday and how we can be like Jesus today. So happy birthday, Jesus, and Merry Christmas to all of you. Our scripture reading today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. Listen to these words. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver the child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of God shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas, our waiting is over. Jesus is born. Emmanuel, God is with us. Here at University United Methodist Church, all throughout the season of Advent, we have been talking about coming home for Christmas. Indeed, many family members and close friends are gathering together after being apart from one another last year. And I pray that as you worship this day, you are filled with the comforts and the love of home. Of course, we acknowledge that not everybody has safe shelter. We know that not everybody's homes are filled with love. And we might say that our homes are not perfect. But this day, this day, we are reminded that Christmas is not so much about our home. It's about God choosing to make God's home in us. God coming to be with us right here in the midst of our lives that are messy and full, right here in the midst of our world that is both broken and beautiful, right in your heart, there is God and God's love in the midst of all of your hopes and fears. In Galatians, it reads that God sent Jesus in the fullness of time. That is to say the right time. 
Now we might think that the right time is when everything is perfect in our lives and in our home and in the world, but God operated on God's time to send the gift of love in Jesus. And we sing silent night, holy night, all is calm. And yet we know that Jesus was not born into a world that is calm. And we know that our world is far from calm. Yet this day we choose to believe again in the miracle that through Jesus Christ, God is with us, loving us right here. As one theologian has said, none of God's escalators are going up to heaven this day. No, all of God's escalators are coming down all to be with us right here in our own little Bethlehem. Like Mary, may we ponder in our hearts what it means to know that God is with us and that God loves us. And may the love that we experience this day and in this season inspire us and deepen our love and our care for one another and the world so that all God's children have safe shelter and all people have homes that are filled with love. I leave you with these words from late theologian Howard Thurman. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home and when the shepherds are back with their flocks, then the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among the people and to make music in the heart. Merry Christmas, and may God bless you and your homes.
As we celebrate together at the table of God, I hope that you will find uh, some bread or some sort of cracker to have with you, as well as some juice or some wine or some water, and let us come together to God's table. Because we come together with a to the table filled with the wonder of the birth of Jesus. We come ready to be filled with God's grace, and we come waiting for the miracle and the blessing of Jesus' birth. And at the same time as we await his birth, we also remember that on the night of Jesus' arrest, Jesus shared a meal with his companions. And during that meal, he took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to his friends and said, take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, Jesus took the cup and again gave thanks to you and gave it to his friends and said, drink from this, all of you. This is the new covenant poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Pour out your spirit on these gifts, O God. Make them be for us your presence, offering hope to the world. Meet us in this bread and this cup and hear the prayers of your people in this aching world. O come, O come. Emmanuel. And now in collective longing for a taste of your kingdom on earth, we join together in echoing the prayer of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to take the bread that you have with you and break the bread. Take a piece, dip it in the cup and eat. If you are with your friends or your family, I invite you to serve one another. Share God's love and God's grace around the table. Let us pray. Holy One, you came to us as a child, and we come to you this day filled with the wonder of your birth. May this meal sustain our wonder and fill us with your grace so that we may shine the light of your love to the whole world. Amen. Oh,
At this time, we are invited to light candles as a reminder that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness shall not overcome it. At home, as you worship, you may have a simple advent wreath or just a single candle, whatever you have works. As we light candles, I pray that you remember the light of Christ guides you this day and into a new year. And I pray that you might know that the divine spark is within you and all who you meet. Let us light our candles as we sing together now, Silent Night. being in worship with us at University United Methodist Church for Christmas Eve. As you go forth, take these words with you. May you know that the light of Christ guides you this day and into a new year. And may you remember that you are beloved, recognizing the divine spark within yourself and all you meet. Go in peace. Amen.